It's easy to say that all religions are one. It's easy to say that we all believe in the same God. It's easy to say that we all want to be in heaven. It's also false, argues Boston University religion professor Stephen Prothero in his new book, God is Not One, The Eight Rival Religions That Run the World and Why Their Differences Matter. So unlike the William Blakes, Mahatma Gandhis, the Houston Smiths, and the Karen Armstrongs of the world, Dr. Prothero says that the essence of each religion is profoundly different. What religions do have in common is a conviction that there is something wrong with the world. Christianity, for instance, the problem is sin. For Islam, it is pride. For Buddhism, it is suffering. For Judaism, it is evil. Gratuitous human suffering. So each religion offers a solution to what ails the world. Christianity, the solution to sin, is faith in Christ, which brings individual salvation to heaven. Islam, the solution is submission to Allah, which brings paradise. Buddhism, the solution is awareness, which brings nirvana. Judaism, the solution is God's law, which brings justice to the world. Each religion offers a technique for moving from problem to solution. Christianity is faith and good works. Islam, it is the five pillars, submission to Allah, prayer, charity, fasting, and pilgrimage to Mecca. Buddhism, it is the noble eightfold path, which includes meditation and chanting. Judaism, it is practice of God's law, including laws of the Sabbath, laws of diet, laws of sex, laws of business. Each religion offers examples of how to live. Seventh-day Adventism has the example of its prophet, Ellen G. White. Islam has Muhammad. Buddhism has the Buddha. Judaism has Moses. Each religion has sacred texts, but the texts play completely different roles in each religion. Hindus have the Vedas, but few Hindus today care about their contents. Protestants believe in sola scriptura. Scripture alone shall be our creed. But no other religion has this, the Bible and the Bible only attitude. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam affirm belief in one God. Followers of the Buddha and of Confucius have no such belief, while Hindus worship thousands of gods. In my 44 years on earth, I frequently found that what is of vital importance to me is of no significance to those closest to me. For instance, I might want to watch the ball game alone in bed. My girlfriend might want me to go out to a movie with her. I might want to read Sports Illustrated, or she wants me to dine with her family. I might want to stay home or date a blog. She might want me to get a job. So too in religion. While the theme of salvation from sin is central to Christianity, it is absent from all other religions. Yes, Judaism and Islam, for example, believe in sin, but not as this vast existential burden we're born with and are unable to conquer on our own. In the Western world, Christianity is chiefly an English language religion where sin means defiance of the Lord. Contrast the Hebrew word for sin, avera, means missing the mark. Thus, in Judaism, there is no need for an otherworldly savior to die on a cross to rescue one from missing the mark.